Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got some personal defense 9mm to check out today. This is from Norma. This is their 108 grain MHP or monolithic hollow point to check out. For our testing we have five barrel lengths as always. We have three, four, 4.95, 7.72, and 16 inch. We'll be at 10 to 12 feet with our pro chrono digital as always. It's 85 degrees outside, maybe a little cooler now that the sun is being obscured by some clouds. Let's do this. The focus may be off, but kind of an interesting packaging. 20 rounds to a box. The rounds are on an angle there. You see they have a dull finish and a silver coating on the bullet. Kind of wish they would just go to a 50 round box. I like buying 50 round boxes of personal defense ammunition. I don't really need all the flare and everything on the outside of the box, but whatever floats your boat. Up first we'll grab the three inch SIG P938. We'll try not to keep releasing the magazine while firing. Nine ninety eight, ten sixty six, ten twelve, nine ninety four, ten twenty six, nine ninety eight, ten twenty seven. 1023, 998, 1018. Now our Gen 4 Glock 19 MOS has a four inch factory barrel in it. 1107, 1101, 1092, 1096, 1101, 1090, 1136, 1098, 1108. Now our Smith & Wesson M&P Core, this has the Storm Lake 9mm conversion barrel in it. I pretty much run this barrel in this gun since I got it many years ago, and it's run pretty well. Hopefully you guys can see the screen right here. If not, I use it to help read, to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. It dumps it off into a spreadsheet. And you, at this point, I don't think you really need much of a B-roll camera anymore. Focus completely on the chronograph. 11.16. 1159, 1180, 1184, 1138, 1179, 1175, 1151, 1158. Now our CZ Scorpion Evo, this has the 7.72 inch barrel. Velocity wise, it seemed like a little on the medium side with 108 grains we should be a little faster than that but this is not a plus P loading 1218 1277 1288, 1294. Those are a little better velocities. And now our CMMG Guard. This is the 200 series Resolute. This has the ripstock, Cerakote, takes Glock magazines, which is nice so that that's one less magazine type I have to buy. Has a 1 in 10 twist barrel with a factory muzzle brake. Very soft shooting, 1397. 
These ETS mags. Not really sold on these ETS mags. $13.93. This is actually a P Mag 15 for the Glock 19. Thought this was the OEM mag, sorry. Try that. Thirteen seventy five, fourteen hundred, fourteen sixteen, fourteen oh three, thirteen ninety seven, fourteen thirteen, fourteen oh two, thirteen seventy five. Much better feeding that time. Those ETS mags, at least with this normal load, I'm not sure why they don't like it, but they're getting hung up in the magazine and they're not wanting to feed to the top. Here is our Norma MHP monolithic hollow point, 1.17 inches at approximately 25 yards with the CMMG guard, one to six power with the KISS reticle. This is the third group. This gun apparently doesn't like it. That was the second. And then this one was about one and a half inches. Minimal wind today, taking plenty of time between each shots guns not even getting hot that's the best I can get your mileage may vary as with our other nine millimeter testing we've taken the three shots from the three different barrel lengths and then went down to check out the gel so we'll do the same here we'll do the three inch the 4.95 inch and then the 16 inch carbine as long as we hit where we want on the block that is Velocity 1071, that was right dead center. Hopefully that doesn't run into some of my other wound tracks. Now the 4.95 inch. We'll aim a little lower this time. 1213. Did I hit really low? We'll take another shot just in case. We'll go upper right. That one was a chronograph error. It's getting kind of dark outside. We do have velocity figures off the last time. And now our 16 inch. Definitely don't rely on those velocities. As always, I try to maximize as many shots as I can on these blocks, and sometimes it gets hard to see wound paths, but pretty much for pistol rounds, you're just looking for the maximum penetration and expansion in the medium. This right here is our 4.95 inch. You can see that we already have great expansion. Penetration though is right about the 11 inch mark. That round right there at the 12 inch that is perfectly stood straight up is the 16 inch. The one that's mooning us right there at about the 10 inch is the first 4.95 inch shot. And then right again at 10 inches in the center there, that is our three inch. Again, hard to see because it intersected the wound track from a previous shot. Let's pull these guys out. There is our lineup. Here is the three inch, both 4.95s and the 16 inch. That is some awesome expansion, even out of the three inch. Although penetration depths were a little short for the FBI specification, 
if you wanted to carry something in a three inch that you knew would expand every time, that load right there would definitely do it. I wonder if we need a little more velocity to possibly get a little more penetration or if that would hurt us and give us more expansion and less penetration. But those are sick. I'd say if you're living in a state that is moving towards banning all types of different lead bullets, one of the newer tech copper alternatives like this Norma may suit you well for self-defense. Now this thing had very, very good expansion. However, all of our barrel lengths showed us almost under the 12 inch recommended penetration depths in clear gel. Shooting this against other barriers if you have a concern may affect it even more, although depending on that barrier you actually may rip some of these pedals off and get some more penetration. Probably like to see a little more limited expansion on these to get to that 12 to 14 inch mark. We had pretty good accuracy with this load at our standard 25 yards with our 16 inch barrel. Overall, I think Norma did a really good job with this load. They do advertise, if you read the marketing material on this box, as good for home and personal protection without the risk of over penetration. I would like to see, like I said, that penetration depth in the 12 to 14 inch mark so we get to that minimum that a lot of experts have concluded is a good minimum to start at. I'd like to thank Norma for providing us with this ammunition. My Patreon supporters, I always throw that link down there in the description below if you guys feel like throwing some funds my way. It certainly does help, and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range. Accuracy wise with this load, we had really we had really good accuracy with this load from our 25 yard testing distance that we like to use for 9mm. I think Norma did a really good job with this load. If you read